Hello guys, my name is Fazalam and welcome back to the second part of the uh, Blender to Unity 5 Assets Creation uh, tutorial. Uh, in this part, uh, I'm gonna uh, show you how to create leaves on our branches of the tree we have created in our previous tutorial. Alright, so let's get started um, to add uh, leaves on our uh, branches. Uh, go to this Add and Mesh and then select this uh, image as planes what we need to do is uh, import this uh, uh, alpha channeled leaves texture leaf texture uh, in our scene as a plane all right let's uh, move it a little bit side so that it won't come in our way all right now um, select your tree uh, i don't know why leaf is appearing alpha channels are appearing black and white but it doesn't matter because all the alphas will be disappear inside unity alright now select your tree and uh, let's create let's specify uh, from where uh, our leaves should be uh, spawned so go into your edit mode and deselect everything go to your side view and uh, so click on this transparency button bring up your uh, box selection tool by pressing B bu button on your keyboard now by clicking left mouse button and dragging you can select the branches alright now our branches are selected uh, go to in your this data option and in vertex groups click plus button and double click on that and type LEAF leaves alright now click assign uh, what happened is now our tree our uh, these faces are now assigned as a group so they select and select all right now they are assigned okay now go back to your uh, object mode and in particle tab press this new button and in type select hairs now notice hairs are appearing all over your name uh, our mesh but we want our particles to appear only from the branches in order to do that go to your uh, vertex groups panel and select this density to leaves alright now you can see all uh, the particles are emitting from the branches only now what we need to do next is convert uh, replace these particles hair particles with this uh, mesh to do that select here in particles panel select here from path to object and now in dupli object select this plane and you can see here it is now replaced but it is too small to notice so let's scale it up up and up so that it makes sense and then go into the edit mode and now drag your uh, plane up to um, place the pivot point at the bottom as we did in our previous tutorial all right now go back to the object mode let's see all right now it's done and uh, all the particles are emitting in random rotation so it is pretty good all right well, what to do next select your tree and what we want is to make this particle system independent from this uh, mesh uh, so that if we delete it uh, the particle system won't gone alright so click on your tree and in in this uh, modifiers tab select it and here you can see the modifier particle modifier is applied on our tree press convert now all the particles are their own mesh independent mesh so you can delete this uh, particle now by pressing this minus button and you can also delete uh, this plane by pressing X on your keyboard and enter again and your lamp too where is it here it is X and enter all right uh, now uh, uh, select your tree first this step is very important so notice first you need to select your tree first and press a to deselect everything and now press a back again to select 
everything and now press control J on your keyboard to join all the meshes inside inside a single mesh the reason we selected our tree first is to make uh, this pivot point common for all of these meshes so that we don't have to manually uh, drag this pivot point to the bottom all right now we are pretty much done in the blender so let's save our file control s not shift s control s all right and close it now you can see here we have texture and our tree mesh I'll copy this folder control c into our unity project folder whoops here um, here i have it all right control v paste it here and now let's open up the unity open our project it will take some time to uh, import assets All right, now we are inside Unity. Um, so let's check our tree mesh. Go here, and you can see we have it. Let's adjust some settings in animation tab. Untick this import animation tab because we don't want any type of animation. All right, now in materials folder, select this, and in this bark. Uh, material select nature soft tree soft occlusion bark and adjust this ambient occlusion setting uh, in the way you want okay now in tree in leaves select this nature tree soft occlusion leaves and again select adjust your settings all right now select your uh, terrain but first let's see how our tree looks like all right so this is how our tree is looking pretty much okay not super uh, uh, fine or best tree but a good for this tutorial I guess all right now click on your terrain and start painting um you select this tree icon and click add tree edit trees and then add tree and drag your tree up okay now we can start painting our trees let's start painting whoopsie what happening uh, our tree is not standing so why so uh, is because the uh, blender uses z axis as a up axis but unity uses y axis as up axis so we are getting this uh, rotation error so how do we fix that double click on your uh, raw set to open it, it up inside blender okay now uh, you can see Z is the up axis but we want our tree to be rotated on the Y axis so what we are gonna do we are going to rotate it, uh, rotate it inside edit mode select everything by pressing once or twice the A button or your keyboard and then rotate press R and along the X axis so X and then press minus 9 T hit enter all right now bring it back to its pivot point okay now go back to the object mode and then press rotate again x and this time 90 
all right save our tree let's see if it work or not all right you can see now our trees are standing cool right now we can delete this tree here because it's laying down go back and now we need to drag it back again because we want to add our, our collider on it so in the raw set select this add component and the type CAP on the search and you can find this capsule collider click on that and click edit collider and now edit your collider by dragging this with these manipulators over here and make it uh, in the middle of it so let's adjust it like this and in here like this and in the y-axis down you can see all right I think this is okay whoops a little bit here all right now I think this is okay now you can drag your tree here to create a prefab of it and you can delete the original tree and now select your tree terrain again and in the tree select this tree edit remove that tree we don't want that and then now I click edit tree add trees and drag your prefab this time click add uh, and uh, important thing to notice is you must take this tra terrain collider on and this enable tree collider on and now let's start painting all right now our trees are standing but how do we uh, test that our colliders are working so I have created a character for it uh, let's drag it over here and well this is only to test if our collider is working or not uh, it's not character creation tutorial uh, but in next time I will show you how to create uh, characters for your uh, unity 5 all right this time let's focus on our trees all right now you can see our colliders are working perfectly fine our shadow looks really amazing all right cool and if you feel your trees are very small you can adjust the trees by selecting your raw model and going to models and increase the scale factor let's say 1.5 and hit apply the moment you hit apply uh, the tree size will automatically be increased but notice in here the collider size was not increased so you have to increase it manually in order to do the work all right now drag it back here to refresh your prefab and you can delete this again and in here select your trees select this one and press refresh all right now let's see now our trees become pretty big big enough and colliders are working pretty good all right this is it for now guys uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time